What single thing defines the, su the success of your school? I think the one single thing that defines the success of Edgegrove is, is uh, lots of happy children wanting to come to school and enjoying their learning. I think that's the, the most important thing of, of any school. How do you guarantee your pupils' well-being? In so many ways. Uh, pupil well-being is, is, is obviously our utmost priority. So um, from e-safety that we've just talked about to, um, to any concerns they might have, we want every pupil to, to understand that there's someone at school they can talk to if they need to talk to. If they can't, they can raise their concerns in, in lots of different ways. We make sure that the food is healthy um, and, and delicious so that they're, they're well fed. Uh, we make sure that there are lots of opportunities for them to exercise and be healthy and to understand what it is to be healthy. And what keeps you awake at night? Oh, all sorts of things keep me awake at night. I think probably um, making sure that every pupil is happy and is, is doing as well as they can be. Um, and I often wake up thinking, what can I do next? What should I be doing tomorrow? Uh, what, what do I need to do? Um, I rarely have a night's sleep where I don't wake up thinking about something. If you could change one thing about your school, what would it be? I think the one thing I'd like to change is maybe to have more space because we have so many children wanting to come to Edgegrove and we have to turn quite a few away each year. Uh, I think more space would mean more children that we'd like to have in school. How do you define bullying and how do you deal with it? I think bullying is systematic unkindness. Um, by pupils to one or more pupils um, and I would have a zero tolerance approach to that. I would hope we don't have that at Edge Grove um, because we deal with pupils interactions before it gets to that so it's, it's ensuring children understand what, what they should say to each other, what is uh, acceptable and what is unacceptable and making sure that the general ethos is one of respect and that children are kind um, and thoughtful of each other's um, needs and uh, feelings. Have you ever been asked to turn a blind eye by parents and how did you react? Um, I don't think I have and, uh, and I wouldn't either. Um, I, I think uh, it's important that I, I, I react to any, any issue and if a parent asked me to turn a blind eye I think I'd probably do the opposite.